large language models are trained on a huge data set but any data set outside of that data which model has already been trained on is not accessible or known by the model rag or retrieval augmented generation is a technique through which we make this model aware of the outside data which was not or originally part of its data set for example you take a model and you want to train it it on your own company's data now this company data was not part of the original data, training data set of this model so you would be using this rag technique to train that model or make that model aware of this new data set now foundation models are trained on very general domain data sets like wikipedia slack crm reddit or such data sources so they are not very effective for domain specific tasks or your own company's specific tasks that is where you can use this retrieval augmented generation or rag to retrieve data from outside a foundation model and augment or support your prompts by adding the relevant retrieval data in the context if you look on in on the diagram which is on your screen this is the flow we use rag to add the context to the model so you can see that on the top on the left hand side we have numerous data sets these data sources let's suppose these are our company's data we extract the relevant data which we want to share with the model from these data sources for example few pdf documents or few sharepoint folders and stuff like that then we transform this data transforming means maybe we are adding some labels we are adding some metadata we are chunking it chunking means that um, from a phrase or sentence we identify which one is noun which one is verb and stuff like that once we have transformed that data we use something called embedding embedding is a process by which the input text is given numerical representation in vector space and th then those embeddings are stored in this vector databases and there are a lot of good vector databases um, out there and i have done some videos you can search on my um, channel for the vector databases anyway so once these embeddings or numerical representations are loaded into this vector databases from there whenever a user puts in a response this rag compare the embeddings of user incoming prompts within the vector of its own knowledge library and then these original user prompts are appended with the relevant context from similar documents within the knowledge library this augmented prompt is then sent to the foundation model and we can update these knowledge libraries and their relevant embeddings is in asynchronously so we have detached both of them so this is how this rag works so in a simple words we provide context or our own company's data with the help of rag to the foundation models i hope that this was um, simple enough to understand if you still have any questions or you want me to explain it in a better way please share it in the comment section and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you